Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspired Woman, and today I'm here to talk to you about World Poetry Day. So poetry has been a part of so many of our lives, and sometimes we don't even realize that we're repeating a poem. I realized when I was doing research for this that there were a lot of poems that I thought I was saying correctly, and I wasn't. Oops, bad on me. So uh, today is March 21st, and it is World Poetry Day. Poetry is really the longest form of communication. I mean, as far back as you look, um, people have been sharing their history, and sometimes that turns in uh, from poetry into um, music at some point. Um, but it usually starts out as poetry, and it's a great way to kind of feel a part of what's going on. And it really is um, a way that we share our history our um, stories from our childhood, a lot of times um, people put that to rhyme and meter so that we could remember them a little bit easier. Um, but it's also a way to express like someone's humanity, um, their identity, and maybe they've talked about things that really meant something to them, maybe about their life or feelings or even their personal thoughts on things. And when you read it, you can hear that side and connect with a person you've never met before in a kind of strange and interesting way. So if you've never tried your hand at poetry, that may be something you could try today. Um, one of the things that um, this is kind of an interesting one for me is my grandmother, when I was growing up, would read poetry to me from time to time. And there were several poems that were like her favorites and she had them bookmarked in her favorite book. And I just remember hearing the stories. Now, maybe I didn't quite understand everything they were talking about, but it's one of those I learned so much from the, the words, listening to her talk, listening to how passionate she was about the poetry that she was reading to me. I'm going to attempt to read my grandmother's favorite poem uh, today. Um, it's one of those, it's some that I kind of still get choked up about. My grandma was very important to me and I feel very close to her, even though she's been gone um, almost 30 years. I still very feel very close to her. And so I am going to attempt to read her favorite poem. Um, and when she read it to me as a child, I realized now, not then, um, how much um, this poem had such a depth to that I never understood as a kid, something that I never quite got a hold of, but now as an adult, I can see how important um, some of these ideas and thoughts and feelings are really important. So I'm going to attempt to read it, and I hope you will um, share with me one of your favorite poems, or um, if you try to get your hand at um, writing a poem, please um, list it below so I can hear it. I would love to hear uh, some poetry from you guys. I love poems. So the poem I'm going to read for you is If by Rudyard Kipling. So here we go. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you and make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about don't deal in lies or being hated don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor too wise if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop down to, and stoop to build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all at one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will 
which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, if you can walk with kings nor lose your common touch, if neither fear, foes or loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can feel fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. I thank you for joining me for World Poetry Day, and I hope um, that you will step into your own poet and uh, send me a link to one of your favorite poems or write an original poem and share it with me. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know we'll be talking again soon.